Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for being part of a group that will look with anticipation to see Jesus face to face. The question is, when are we going to see Jesus? There are many in this world who are predicting the exact time when Jesus will come. We are not in the business of setting dates for Jesus to come because the Bible very clearly tells us in the book of Matthew that no one knows the time and no one knows the hour when Jesus will come. He will come when we least expect it. But God has not kept us in the dark as to when he will appear. He has given us signs of his coming. When we read the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 24, we hear of all the signs preceding the coming of Jesus Christ. Wars and rumors of wars, famines and pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. And indeed, this is the condition of the world today. And we wonder, when will Jesus come? The question, when will Jesus come, can simply be answered sooner than we think. In fact, this is the theme of this beautiful hymn that we are examining at the moment. It may be at morn. The first stanza of the hymn says, It may be at morn when the day is awaking, when sunlight through darkness and shadow is breaking, that Jesus will come in the fullness of glory to receive from the world his own. The second stanza introduces us to midday. It may be at midday. It may be at twilight. It may be perchance that the blackness of midnight will burst into light in blaze of his glory when Jesus returns to receive his own. And finally, the third stanza says, in anticipation and in receiving Christ, O oh joy, O oh delight, should we go without dying? No sickness, no sadness, no dread and no crying. Caught up in the clouds with our Lord into glory when Jesus receives his own. When I think about the words of this song, I cannot help myself but be excited about the second coming of Jesus Christ. The second coming of Jesus Christ should burn as a flame in our hearts. It is a hope that should never die out. It is a passion that should never run dry. The second coming of Jesus Christ should be the greatest hope of all mankind because indeed it is. This hymn is based on many verses in the Bible and all those verses relay, relate to the second coming of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 13 verse 35, Matthew chapter 13 verse 26, 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 and 17 and Revelation 6 verse 1. But for our purposes today, I'd like us to just focus on just one verse and that is 1 Thessalonians Chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. And the Bible says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. This is the scene that led Turner to write the third verse of this hymn. O joy, O delight, should we go without dying? No sickness, no sadness, no dread, and no crying. If we are alive when Jesus comes, according to 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16 and 17, we together with those who will rise up, the righteous who have died, those who have died believing in Jesus Christ, together with them, the Bible says that we'll be caught up in the air. We will not go before them, nor will they go before us. Indeed, those who have died in Christ are patiently waiting for Jesus to come. And what a day it will be when Jesus come. If we are alive and we hope to be alive when Jesus comes. But if we are not alive, we can rest assured. His promise is true that when he comes, the dead in Christ will rise first. That is our assurance, dear friends. Whether we live or whether we die, if we do it in Christ and when the clouds break open, we may be found among the faithful who will raise our hands and say, Come Lord Jesus, we are waiting for you. 
So while the world and some in the world are anticipating and setting dates, which is completely unbiblical, the Bible says no man knows the other. I pray that you and I, being inspired by this hymn, would not worry so much about the date and the exact moment of the second coming of Christ, but you and I should live, live prepared lives. We should be ready at any moment because this hymn says, it may be at morn when the day is awaking that Jesus may come. It may be at midday. It may be at twilight. It may be perchance in the blackness of midnight that Jesus will come. Whenever Jesus come, oh dear friend, I hope you and I would be ready to receive him as he is coming to receive us. This hymn is one of the most doctrinally sound hymns in Christianity because it does not speak about a time-setting, date-setting experience, but it speaks about a preparedness that we need to engage and get into before the second coming of Jesus Christ. You and I don't know when Jesus will come, but we do know he will come. And when Jesus comes, may we be found among the faithful who will say, come Lord, we have been patiently waiting for you. The author of this hymn, Turner, very little is known about his life. And I think that it is providence that we know very little about him because of the content of this hymn. This life, dear friend, is worth nothing without Jesus. And if we had only this life to live, where we live, eat, drink, and then die, if there was no hope of a second coming, if Jesus was not coming again, if I were not going to, to see my loved ones again, this life would not be worth living anymore. What meaningless life this would be if we would only live to dress and eat and then die. There must be something more to this life. And that is why the coming of Jesus Christ is the greatest, indeed, the greatest hope of the world. Not one of the greatest greatest hopes, but the greatest hope of the world. I'm waiting for Jesus to come. He may come at morn, he may come at midday, or he may come at noon or at midnight. But whenever Jesus comes, I pray by his grace, I want to be ready. As we listen to Tsepo sing this beautiful hymn, I pray that as the words of each stanza is sung, and when we come to the refrain with our hearts and in our minds, we will join in the chorus that says, Oh Lord Jesus, how long, how long, ere we shout the glad song, Christ returneth, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. At morn when the day is awaking When sunlight through darkness and shadow is breaking That Jesus will come in the fullness of glory To receive from this world How long, how long Ere we shout the last song Christ returneth Hallelujah, hallelujah Amen Hallelujah, amen It may be at midday It may be at twilight it may be perchance that the blackness of midnight will burst into light in the blaze of his glory when Jesus receives his own oh Lord Jesus how long how long ere we shout the glad song Christ returneth, hallelujah, hallelujah, amen Hallelujah, amen Oh joy, oh delight, should we go without 
or dying No sickness, no sadness, no dread and no crying Caught up through that love with the Lord into glory When Jesus receives his own Oh Lord Jesus, how long, how long Have we shot the dead song, Christ return Thank you, Tsepo, for reminding us that Jesus may appear at any time. Our concern should be, am I ready to meet him? Your concern should be, are you ready to meet Jesus when he appears the second time? The Bible says that Jesus is coming the second time, not to die for our sins or deal with our sins, but he is coming the second time to take all those who are faithfully waiting for him. As I listen to the words of this beautiful hymn, my heart's desire is that I too will be among those who are faithful. I too will be among those who will patiently and eagerly hold on to the hope that God has given us through his word and that Turner has given us through this hymn. Because the coming of Jesus may come in the prime of your life or when you are old or when you are young. We have no idea of the exact time when Jesus is coming. But indeed, we are waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. And when he comes, what a day that will be when we will see him face to face and no more wonder this earth. But we will live eternally as he had originally intended and planned. Yes, dear friend, it may be at morn. It may be today. It may be tomorrow. We have no idea when Jesus will come. So don't delay accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Use the opportunity today to say, Lord, since I don't know when you are coming, help me to receive you and be ready when you do come, O oh God. Crying, caught up through that love with the Lord into glory when Jesus receives his own. Oh Lord Jesus, how long, how long have we shot the dead song? Christ return.